Hey everybody, I've got a battle here with Roshi Pokemon. Pretty well known, good battler, lots of fun. I go with my Ambipom, he goes with his Venusaur. I go for the obvious fake out and he blocks that with his Spiritomb. I taunt that because that's what I do with Spiritombs and it tries to trick. So at this point I'm thinking it's banded and I just go for the focus punch right away because I know he's going to be forced to switch. And that Arcanine takes the focus punch in the face. Which is always a good thing. I just stay in here to try to finish this thing off. It looks like it's really bulky because that extreme speed really doesn't do much. And I'm becoming on exactly a wall. So that was a pretty good start for me. But now he trapped me with this duck trio. So that was pretty bad, but Ami Palm did a good job. I go for my Pidgeot, no he can't touch me because they're all banded. And I go for my top six. Get it on this Azumaru, which is really good. And I know I can probably wall it because of this Pidgeot's awesomeness. I go for my Feather Dance. He goes for a waterfall. I thought he would Ice Punch, but even if he Ice Punch, I wouldn't be too afraid. Especially since I'm faster. So yeah, after the Feather Dance, the waterfalls are going to do that much. I predict the switch, but I still go for another Feather Dance. It would be good if he stayed in, good if he switched out. And I get it on this drip now. I can't poison it, so I switch out into my Explode. And he goes for the sub, and then he starts setting up with Swords Dance as I go for my Earthquake. So I know I can still, I can throw any hit this thing has, because it's just that mutual, mutual attack. He gets risky and goes for the next Swords Dance. And I'm thinking I could probably kill it because I have the Expert Belt, but he survives at like 0 HP. I don't want to take anything it has, so I switch into Toxic Croak. Because I figured I'd probably have a top, uh, poison and a dark move, and it was just both. So I left that with half. It does, it still does like half because he's way far and stuff. And then he traps me again. I sucker punch that thing. Takes it pretty low, and I get taken up with the earth player, obviously. I was surprised he wasn't running black fudge or leftovers on his, um, drape yard. I think that would probably be a better set with the sub. That's what I would have done. Oh, what do I know? I went for the Willow Wiss, it missed, and I was upset because I thought this thing was a physical attacker. I decided to stay in electric me, but it turns out it's not choice in any way. So it goes for the nasty plus. And I got the special defense shot, which kind of sucked, but whatever. Right, I can mine, because I'm planning on taking whatever it has. I survive and get my switches very off and he's at minus one special defense I'm at plus one attack so I just go for the attack it'll be a two hit kill but then he tricks me his lagging tail so he can do what he wants now and decides to rest and he just stays in again and lets me take him out so I'm not sure why he went for the... I guess he didn't want me fast, that's why he tricked me and then rested. But I don't know why he rested instead of going for a dark horse. This thing has Shadow Claw, which surprised me. I was expecting the Stone Edge. And I actually survived that, and I don't have that much defense. I think I have 100 defense points on this, on this Drifter. But I was expecting a Stone Edge, which is probably cool. It doesn't matter because he's gonna nerf me with that as a mural. And really, um, the the trio wasn't that much of a problem because Pidgeot could take it out in any case. A Venusaur, I go for the sweet card. I think he might have predicted that because he stays in just to get the attack off. I know he withdraws, which is smart. I considered going for the sweet card again, but then I decided I just wanted to get damage or whatever came in. So that Sludge Ball accomplished that. And here I go for the Sweet Powder, but he is faster. I think he's actually like max speed or something, I'm not sure. But he anyway, will speed my picture out later. Anyway. So I can sleep, but I'm not afraid of what he's gonna do to me, so I stay in to see what kind of Venusaur it is, what it wants to do. Right, he knocks off, then I see what I wanna see what attack he goes for. 
Maybe he has the leaf storm, which would be good for me to take, but no, he has a sludge bomb. I go into base because I can't really do anything else in there. Hoping I can take two sludge bombs, and I can, but he gets the poison. So I was just really hoping that it wouldn't take me low enough for him to kill me again. And that works out actually. Because I survived just barely. And I can go for my overheat. Which doesn't kill because it's a Venusaur and Venusaurs are monsters. I survive at 2 and he takes the opportunity to go into Azumarill because he thought he would overheat again I guess. But this is a mixed explode which I think is the best way to use them. So I went for my physical attack and he takes a chunk from that. I come with Pidgeot now. Knowing that I could take whatever it has really. And I just go for the Flay, knowing that all he has is this and that Venusaur. So Flay is going to take either of them out at this point. So yeah, he goes into this Venusaur and he's faster than me. I don't have any speed reviews, so I guess he has a few. Or enough. I go for the flay and that's going to hit next turn and take it out. So that was a really good game, Roshi Pokemon. I got the his channel in the description so you should check him out if you haven't already, which will be strange of you. Because he's a really good battler. Nice videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.